Good morning, Dragons. Today is Monday, November 6th. We have some school announcements and sports announcements. I'm Lily, and welcome to Dragon Daily. <laughs> Today kicks off the early post-secondary opportunity week at CHS. If you haven't heard about EPSOS, this is the week to learn more. Talk to your counselor about setting yourself up for post-secondary success, or ask a teacher about the benefits of taking a college-level course while still in high school. Early post-secondary opportunities allow students to earn post-secondary credits while in high school, become familiar with post-secondary expectations, develop confidence and skills for success in post-secondary education, make informed post-secondary education and career decisions, and decrease the time and cost of completing a certificate or degree. We will have more information about the rest of this week and the EPSOS here at the Carterville High School. For more information, you can also talk to your teacher or a guidance counselor. Starting today, Monday, November 6th, support the Helping Hands Club with this year's Thanksgiving food drive. Please bring non-perishable food items and leave them in your first period teacher's classroom. The last day to collect food items will be November 17th and all of the food collected will be given to those in need of food during this holiday season. And attention all female athletes or any girls looking to join a winter sport. The ladies girls wrestling team is looking for new recruits. If you are ready for a challenge and want to be part of one of the best girls wrestling programs in the state, Please see Coach Green in room C129 or email Coach Green at mgreen at carvilleschools.org. You can also check the QR code on the flyers around the school if you're interested. Please don't wait to join because our season is starting soon. Merrily We Roll Along is coming to the Draco Playhouse November 9th through the 12th, 2023. It begins in the present and moves backwards, tracing the lives of wealthy, jaded composer Franklin Shepard and his two estranged friends through each milestone of their professional and personal lives, good and bad. The show ends with a touch of rueful irony as the three best friends at the start of their careers face a bright future, young, talented, and enthusiastic about the worlds waiting to be conquered. Buy your tickets now at DracoPlayhouse.com. We have a big week for our football team. Our Dra Carterville Dragons take on the Houston Mustangs at our sub-state game. To help cheer on the football team, the rest of the week is a spirit week with the dress-up days. Find out the details on the Carterville Crazies Instagram page. Many people know that the theater program is one of the best in the Tennessee, but did you know that many of the shows they produce are actually student directed? Reporter Mallory and Jenna, Jenna brings us more. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Ba, 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 ba. In the process of the show, we are the head of the show, so we will do the blocking, we will do the choreography. Mm -hmm. We're uh, in charge of the cast. Everything, the casting of it, mm -hmm. who was on our tech team. So really just getting the whole... Making sure that all the pieces are come together in yeah. the show. I would have never understood the process of what our directors, um, Ms. Williams and Mr. Luder, go through every show the way I do now without having to have gone through that process. Just seeing the students grow um, from where we see them as a freshman and then they come in by their senior year, they're ready to direct and design and, and run all aspects of that production. It's a huge learning experience from them. And I think they come back and they, as actors, it makes them better actors having worked on that side as a director as well. Us and then our choreographer, Ali Wiesing, and then um, our music director, Aiden Pettit, mm -hmm. for, and our stage manager, Sam, Sam. Fuller. That was like our production team for the show who really team. put 
everything. And we would meet over the summer. We met a couple mm -hmm. times and we had our little production Shoot. meetings. Yeah. Um, and I think that's when most of the planning would happen because they each have their own little part that they're in charge of. I think directing you get the different perspective also. Mm -hmm. like. Yeah. You don't realize how many things Go have to come together. Each, like part of it. Because when you're on stage, it's just about your part of the show and memorizing like your own lines and your own blocking. But when you're the director, you kind of have to know what everything scene that's going is happening, on. Yeah. What what the lighting is doing, when this track is being played. It's just right. so it's many more elements. I enjoy it though. I do like being in charge. It's enjoyable. It's it's fun, to, especially the student director productions, to sit back and watch and um, watch them enjoy what they've done. To know that they've they've taken this uh, something that's just on a piece of paper and they've given it life and uh, this new production is theirs. Alongside the students of Intro to Broadcasting, thank you for joining us today for Dragon Daily News. Be sure to find the social media channels at Carterville Dragon Media. Follow and subscribe to get all of your daily school news. Alongside our executive producer, Savannah Espanola, I'm Lillian and this has been Dragon Daily. Have a great Monday.